Dune Part 2 has some of the coolest explosion VFX ever, so today I'm going to recreate one of them. First things first, I'm going to film a couple of shots of myself on a green screen, a front angle and a back angle, and I thought it would be really funny if I was wearing a dressing gown throughout the scene, but then I got halfway through editing and was like... Yeah, this is not funny. But I'm not changing it. I'm going to import a single frame from my footage into Spy. Spy is a tool that lets you find the focal length and angle of your real camera and lets you import that data into a virtual camera in Blender. I'm just going to line up my Y axis and Z axis until the orientation looks right. Nice. Now, let's build this terrain. I'm using this super cool add-on called True Terrain to texture my landscape, as well as this awesome mountainscapes pack which comes with heaps of fully textured mountains. I'm adding a landscape and making it a large terrain, scaling it down on the z-axis and making sure to apply scale. Next in the shading tab I will switch over to world lighting and add a basic sky texture, taking the strength down a bit. Then in the true terrain tab I will add a new material and make it this sand one, then mess around with the colour variants by adding some dark and light patches. Next I will put in some canyons from the mountainscape pack just throwing them in the back to fill out that horizon line. Okay, that's done. Let's bring in the SPY data. I'll move the camera to the far side of the terrain and reposition it to face the canyons. I will then add this dune reference image as the background of my camera, and then realign the camera's rotation to match that of dunes. In the shot from dune, Paul is standing on this cliff, so we need to make that as well. I will use the same true terrain process as before, but give the landscape a rocky material. I will also add another terrain and put it above the cliff so it casts a shadow on the scene, as it does from Dune. So this is Blender all done, for now. I'm going to render out the sky, the cliff and the terrain, all as separate images. Let's get to compositing. I use HitFilm Pro for mine, but all the things I talk about can be done in After Effects or whatever else you might use. Here are my sky, terrain and cliff. I will add a lens blur to the cliff and use colour curves to darken it a bit. Then for the shot of myself. I will key out the green and mask around my feet. I didn't even bother putting shoes on for this shoot. Quite innovative, to be honest. I positioned myself on the cliff and used curves and a lens blur once more. Now for the main event, the big explosion. I've got here an explosion from Action VFX and a couple from ProductionCrate.com. I threw them all in together and then pre-composed them. Right now, their colours do not match at all. Let's fix that. I will desaturate the whole layer completely. Then re-add colour by using a colour vibrance effect, making it orange. Then a tint effect, with the colours selected from the desert ground. Next are colour curves to bring out some more contrast, and now we get to the cool bit, the glows. I will stack multiple glows together, all with varying intensity, threshold and radius, until I get a nice glow look. Now, I do not like this harsh edge down here, so I will mask that off and feather it a bunch and everything looks terrible and way too CG. So to fix that, I'm going to add more CG. Boom, dust wave. And also boom, dust waves in the back. And they are all the exact same asset from productioncrate.com. I hope no one can tell. Another thing we can do is go back into Blender and add some volumetrics. You could use a volume shader, but I'm going to use the Cloudscapes pack. I will throw in some cumulonimbus clouds, change the colour and drop their density a lot to make them look like dust. Then I just render them out and throw them into the composite. I ended up duplicating them a few times so we can actually see them. And after all that, we get this. He who can destroy a thing has the real control of it. 